Doug Thompson here, we're in the shop, and it is difficult sometimes, especially TIG welding, to impose force horizontally. So today we're gonna just make up one of these. The whole idea is that you have a spring in here that pushes horizontally to hold a piece in position to then tack it. We've got the basic assembly here. We're using a quarter inch cold rolled. I've got a nut that I've drilled out to quarter inch that's going to form the backstop of the spring when it's inside the tube. The tube is inch and a half square, four inches long. There'll be two caps, one on the front, one on the back. And then what I'm going to do on this one is weld a little stud onto that so it can be used by itself. Or if I want to modify it and use a different end or tip, I'll be able to just thread it right onto this end. So I have a fair amount of adaptability in the process. So at the very end, I've got this quarter inch slug and I'm gonna go ahead and weld it on the very end of the bar at the backside. So I'll have a convenient uh, place to kind of manipulate it, pull it out when I'm uh, working. So on the caps, I've offset the holes so that you have essentially four positions. One, two, three, four. Or you could block it up however you want, but this is a quick way of at least having four different elevations. So if you only had a MIG welder and you wanted to cover the threads, what I did is took a piece of copper, I annealed it first, folded it in half, and then put a piece of 5 16 in the middle of it and then just squeezed it with the vise to get that shape. And then when you're ready to weld, you can just slip that forward and do your weld and you'll protect the threaded portion of your tool.